Hey, hello there guys, Proxens here, and welcome back to another episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon series on the channel. So in the previous episode, we caught a Cubone, and now we're going to go over to the Wheel of Volcano Park once again in order to go up to the top of the park and take on the trial in the area. So let's go. We just need to run through the entire area. And once we're at the top, we can take on the trial. But before we do that, I need to make sure that the team is properly organized. So, actually, you know what? Let's keep it like that. Never mind. I don't need to change the organization of the team. It's fine as is. I was thinking I'd adjust it so then it's by level, but that doesn't really matter. We're fine. Let's just go over here and let's take on the trial. Here we go. We need to run through the entire park, and of course we encounter a Pokemon. That's wonderful. Okay, what do we have here? It's a Salandit. Okay. Let's see if it's a good Salandit. It is! Okay. How about we try catching this? I'll use three Great Balls, and I don't really have a reason for catching this Pokemon other than just catching it. So, let's see. Will this be a first try? Whoa, that's actually really cool. I was not expecting us to catch it first try. Wow, that's actually really cool. And we even got a level up. Okay, that's awesome. That is actually awesome. Okay, there we go. We registered Salandit in the Pokedex. And if we want to, we can level up Salandit and... Yeah, that's an option, but for now I think I'm okay, so let's go up here, and I want to avoid this grass. I really, really want to avoid the grass, because I don't want to go into any more fights with Pokemon. Also, there's a trainer up here, so hello there. The trainer was looking right at us, and they didn't even challenge us until I walked a little bit further. Are you kidding me? That's weird. Okay. Let's face this Sightseer, who's using a Meowth, and the Meowth, of course, is a normal Meowth and not an Alolan Meowth, because the trainer is a Sightseer, so they're going to have normal Pokemon. So let's see here, can we take this thing down with a Razor Leaf? We can try, and it might actually do a good chunk of damage to us after it has just decreased our defense so that's not good oh it's just decreasing our defense again that's actually really good because that way we don't have to worry about it attacking us and now we have taken it down so that's wonderful because that means that we won so there we go and now we need to continue going through here and let's see, is that another trainer? No, it is not. So what are you going to say? Okay, this cave leads to the top of the volcano. Let's go. And here we have it. The next trial we have to take on. And I guess without further ado, let's walk up to the top of the Wheel of Volcano Park in the Totem's Den, and let's take on Kiawi's Trial. I am Kiawi. I think I said that right. My Marowak and I are students of the ancient dances that have been passed down in Alola for generations. The Trial of Kiawi. You will find that it is a bit different than the trials you have faced to this point. But of course, you will attempt it, right? Of course. Okay, trial start. Let's do this. My trial will test your powers of observation. There will be a dance, and then another. Your task will be to find the difference between the two. Begin! Okay, let's see what's going on. We have three Alolan Marowaks. Okay. The Marowaks are in that position. I have memorized it. And now we have the Marowaks moving again. I think the difference is the center pose. What's happening? What's happening? Are we fighting it? 
I guess so. Wonderful. Can I catch this thing? Because if I can catch this thing, then that is an amazing addition to the team. Please. Please let me catch this. Come on. Pokeballs. It's got to be possible. It's got to be possible. No! That's disappointing. I was really, really hoping you could catch that, but it's not possible. And also, I'm in a really bad situation here because I forgot to switch my Pokemon. That sucks. And it even has Cursed Body. Oh no, wait, wait, I have an idea. I have a really good idea. Let's use Ominous Wind because Ominous Wind is a ghost type attack and Marowak is a ghost type Pokemon. So that's super effective and we won. Nicely done. Okay, so now we have to go through that dance thing once again. Okay, let's see what the differences are now. So let's observe this. Okay, there's a person right there. Interesting. Okay, the person is different now. That one. What's happening here? Is he fighting us? I guess so? Okay, the hiker is fighting us. Hiker David. <laughs> Hello there. He's sending out a magmar, and the issue with the magmar is that I don't have anything to battle with it. Well, rather, battle against it with. So, let's use Pluck, and let's hope for the best. Oh no, faint attack? Darn, I wasn't expecting you to have that. And also, Pluck got a critical hit, so that's cool. And now it's using Smokescreen, which I believe decreases our accuracy. And we missed the Pluck. So let's try again. It's using Faint Attack. And now, there we go. Nice. So we managed to get that attack out. And there we go. We won the fight. Burb grew a level. And we defeated the Hiker. So now... Which totem Pokemon are we going to be facing? Let us see. Okay. Onward to the final battle. So, who are we facing? Okay, memorize this dance. Okay. And there we go. There's a very, very large totem Marowak. So... There we go, and now, let's take on the totem Pokemon. Okay, this will be fun because I have to use Ominous Wind on the totem Marowak in order to take it down, and once we use Ominous Wind, we have to be careful because it's probably going to use some sort of fire-type attack, so we need to be careful not to get hit by that, so we're not outspeeding it. Oh no. How much is that going to do? Ouch! No! That took us all the way down because it got a critical hit! Are you kidding me? This is a bad situation that we're now in. Because... I sort of kind of needed to use Dartrix in the fight. So now, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be very interesting. So let's go with Water Pulse. And let's target Marowak with Water Pulse. Please outspeed. Please outspeed. Please outspeed. No! Why? Why did you have to go and use Detect? <sighs> That's disappointing. Oh no! Okay, it's okay. We got this. Water Pulse? No! Torment! Why? Okay, wait, oh wait. I have an idea. I have an idea. Go to Revives. Okay, revive Dartrix, and then we'll use a super potion, Venoshock? Really? That would destroy Dartrix, so I need to be very, very careful. Okay, what do I need to do here? I need to bring out the most, like, speedy Pokemon we have. Okay, let's see who has the highest speed. Looks like... Looks like it was Burb. Well, that's disappointing. I guess the second highest speed is 
Dartrix, and then the third would be Screech. So let's bring in Screech, and then I'm going to get Screech to do some sort of attack. Okay, what can we do here? Bite on the Marowak, because it's part ghost type. Oh, that's nice. Oh, and we can bring Splatoon in, and are you kidding me? He goes for the detect again. Why? Why, Totem Marowak? Why? Why do you have to be so mean? Is that going to destroy us? No. No, it's not. But here's the issue. We need to... Super Potion... Dartrix. No! I didn't mean to use that. No! Wait, what?! Okay. Okay, I'm mad now. I don't know why the game let us waste that. Ugh, gosh, I'm gonna bring in... Cubowack. I'm so sorry, Cubone. <laughs> I am so sorry that I have to do this, but Cubone is going to take the attack here, so then I can heal up Dartrix. If only I hadn't messed up with that previous Super Potion, because then we would have been okay. But now, sadly, Cubowack has gone down, and thus we need to bring in Dartrix to reclaim this battle because it's not ending here. I'm not letting this fight end here. I'm using Ominous Wind on the Marowak, and I'm taking this thing down. We're not going down without a fight. So here we go. Let's do this. Salazzle so used Torment. Wonderful. Go ahead. I'm not too bothered by that. We should... Never mind. I was going to say we should outspeed the Marowak, but it didn't happen, and it won't take us down, luckily. So let's use Ominous Wind, and let's do a good... Barely any damage. Barely any damage, are you kidding me? Okay, this is bad. <laughs> this is really bad. So... Let's think. Let's think. Okay, I need to revive Burb. And the reason I'm reviving Burb is because Burb has a Water-type move, and we sort of need that Water-type move, given the situation. So let's switch over to Burb, and let's hope that Burb can actually sustain itself in this fight, since it has a higher speed than most of the Pokémon on the field. So if I target Marowak, it should outspeed everybody. Come on! Come on! Okay, so Lazo used Venoshock, and it's taking us down. Oh, man. That sucks. Okay. <sighs> think, think, think. This is a really bad situation we're in. Oh, no. If only I had played my cards correctly at the start of the fight. Because if we had done that, then we would be in so, 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 so much of a better situation right now. Okay, Poison Gas, we avoided the attack, that's good. Okay, and now I need to use a Fresh Water, I guess. That's not actually going to be that useful. Let's go with the Super Potion on Burb. And, gosh, I don't know. This is bad. Poison Gas poisoned us, and Totem Marowak is going to destroy us here by using its attack. So there we go, we got taken down, but now is the moment of truth. I need Burb to win this for us, because Burb is really our only hope right now. So let's hope Burb can win this by taking down Marowak, and then taking down Salazzle. So come on Burb, outspeed! Or rather, no, no, I should have predicted that. I should have predicted that. Please miss. No, you're not going to miss. Okay, understandable, reasonable, perfectly fine. Perfectly fine. Okay, perfectly fine. Um, Splatoon, how are you doing today? I was hoping that we wouldn't get down to Splatoon, but I guess Splatoon is our last option here. So target Marowak, and please hope that if it uses Detect, hope that it fails. Come on, come on, it's going to outspeed us, understandable, 
but it's not going to take you down. Never mind, because this is going to take us down. And thus, we have lost the battle against the totem Pokemon Marowak. Due to my inability to plan for the fact that it is a much more powerful Pokemon than I was initially expecting. Okay. Ideas, ideas, what can we do? Okay, I know what we can do. We can go over here to the team, and what I'm going to do is bring Burb out to the front, and then we'll have Dartrix as our secondary, and the reason I'm doing that is because I need Dartrix to be there in case Burb goes down, or no, you know what would be a better idea? Let's have Burb as our secondary, and then we can have Dartrix as our third Pokemon, and the logic there is if we lose well if we lose Splatoon then we have Burb but if we lose Burb then we have Dartrix and I think with those three Pokemon we'll be able to win this as long as we're very very careful with our choices because we can't make any mistakes we can't do the whole super potion thing again because doing that would destroy us in this fight so I need to be careful and I need to make sure that I don't do that again. So let's go back up to the top of the volcano. And let's try this for the second time. Here we go. I wonder if we're going to be put into the totem part of the trial. Okay. Let's see if we can go right into the totem part of the trial. Onward to the final dance. Okay, cool. So... There we go, and the difference is going to be the totem Pokemon. And there we go, there's now a giant Pokemon there. So let me select this, and there we go. The totem Pokemon is fighting us. So let's begin by using Foul Play, and then I'm going to use Foul Play again, just in case Splatoon is still in the fight. So what's the increased stat? Oh, speed! That makes so much more sense now. So, I don't know what Marowak is going to go for, but we should be able to use one foul play on it. It's going for detect, which means its next course of action is to summon another Pokemon. Okay. Is it Salazzle again? It is. Okay. Reasonable. Understandable. Perfectly acceptable. Oh no. Oh wait. Okay, let's just try it anyways. Splatoon, do your thing. Torment means we can't use two attacks in a row. Flame wheel, fine. That's cool. It's not going to take us down, luckily. And now we're going to do a good chunk of damage to Marowak. There we go. We can't use the same move twice in a row. That is bad. But now we can attack Salazzle. Please, please attack Salazzle. Okay, it's going to attack us first. That's fine. We got this. We got this. Okay, it's using Hex. So now I'm bringing in Burb. And Burb is going to use Water Pulse on Salazzle. There's a reason for that. And the reason is because Marowak is most likely going to use Detect. And I'm predicting this now, so if it uses Detect... Okay, there we go. There we go. Thank you so much for using that attack. I appreciate it. Okay, we're fine. Venoshock. I think Burb can last one of those. And then Water Pulse should do a good chunk of damage. There we go. Now, Burb... I don't know what the next course of action is. Um, let's use a revive. Okay, let's see here. I'm going to use a revive on Splatoon because I need Splatoon to be able to do some damage here. And the reason I'm doing that is because I know Burb will not outspeed either of those Pokemon. So now let's bring in Dartrix. And here's the issue. I need to be very careful, because Marowak is either going to attack us, or it's going to detect again, 
So I'm going to predict the detect and hope that's what happens. So let's use pluck on Salazzle and come on. Salazzle used flame burst, which is going to do a very large amount of damage. And Marowak, no! Why did you have to go and do that? Why did you have to go and do that? Well, it took down Dartrix anyways, so it doesn't really matter. <sighs> Gotta think. Gotta think. Let's bring in Screech. And I think Screech can do something here. Let's go for a wing attack on Salazzle because Marowak is most likely going to detect again. Come on, Marowak. There we go. Nicely done. We predicted that. And now Salazzle is going to use Venoshock, which is going to take down Screech to a very low amount of HP. 11 HP to be exact. And wing attack did absolutely nothing. That sucks. Let's go over here to our... Um, Super Potions, and let's use one on Splatoon, because I'm going to bring Splatoon back into the fight, and I'm going to get Splatoon to attack Salazzle. How about we go for that? So, Psybeam on Salazzle, and please, Marowak, use Detect. Please, please, please use Detect. It did not use Detect, which means that Splatoon may not survive this hit. Come on. I believe in you, Splatoon. No, no, it did not work out. Okay. Ouch. Ouch is basically all I can say in this situation. The only way that we're going to win this is if we get really lucky. And I don't know if that's going to happen. So let's go with Mud Slap on Marowak. And I guess we can hope that something good happens. We're going to get poisoned. We're going to get hit by a flame wheel or something like that. And I sort of doubt that Lightning can sustain that hit. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. It actually did nothing to the Marowak. Oh man, I'm so mad right now. But really not that mad, because it's okay. Everything is fine. We can just try again, and the next time we try, I will be better prepared. Because I'll go for a hypnosis on the Salazzle. Or, you know what? I can go for a hypnosis on Marowak. Oh, that's actually a good strategy. And if we manage to actually make that work out, then that'll be really nice. Oh my gosh, what just happened? What just happened? Guys, the battle's changing. Somehow the battle has turned around, because we have taken down Salazzle, which means I need to go over here and I need to revive someone, and I don't know who to revive. Who do I revive? <sighs> okay, think, 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 think. Yeah, why not? Brick break? Okay, understandable. I can see why you went for that attack. Now I have to bring Dartrix back into the fight, and I need to heal Dartrix up back to maximum HP, so then we don't lose. <laughs> and I would prefer not to lose. So go over here to... Super Potion. Use our last Super Potion on Dartrix, in order to get back up to full HP, please don't destroy me here. Okay, it's super effective. This is a bad situation we've been put in. Because I don't have any way to outspeed this thing. So the best thing we can do is revive another Pokemon and then heal up that Pokemon. Or you know what we can do? I have an idea. Bring out Burb, and then Burb, I am going to hope that you are the luckiest Burb on this entire planet by going over here and healing you up. Can this work out? Can this work out? That is the question. No. No! Yes! 
Burb is the luckiest burb. Burb is the luckiest burb. Here we go. Detect. I'm fine with that. I'm perfectly fine with that. Water pulse did nothing, but here is the thing. We're going to actually revive another Pokemon. You know what? No, we're not going to do that. We're going to trust Burb, because Burb has succeeded. Burb has outsped, and Burb did not win the fight. But it's okay, because that flame wheel isn't going to take us down. It's merely going to burn us and... Oh, this is bad. Please, please, please. <sighs> okay. We're still okay. Okay. Um... I don't know what to do. This is bad. This is really bad. Because Burb's about to be destroyed, and I don't want to waste a full restore. Outspeed. Who can outspeed? Who can outspeed? Burb can outspeed. Oh, wait, wait. I need to search this up. Because I know um, certain status effects can decrease your stuff, but I need to see if it decreases your speed. Because if it doesn't decrease your speed, then we're so, so set for this. Okay. Um. It doesn't. It doesn't. Okay. <sighs> okay, that's not going to be enough. No, I don't know what to do because I don't know if Water Pulse will be enough to take this thing down. And if it isn't, then we have to go through the fight again. Yes! We did it! We did it! Oh my gosh! I was really, really, really worried that we would lose that. Oh man! That's kind of crazy. I can't believe we actually managed to win. Oh man. Burb? Burb did it. The only reason we won is because of Burb. So that's wonderful. I'm so happy right now because I didn't want to go through that fight again. That's awesome. So there we go. Burb is really happy now because Burb won the fight for us. So that is amazing. And now we will receive the Z Crystal from this fight. Whoa, spectacular! With your keen observations, you were able to see even fine differences in our dances, and you defeated the Totem Pokemon with such ease. The Totem Pokemon protected this Fire Fireum Z. Now it is yours. Thank you. I appreciate that. So, there we go, we have received the Fire Eum Z, and thus we now have access to a Fire-type Z-move, which means once Cubone evolves into Marowak, then we will have the ability to use this Z-Crystal, so that's pretty cool. And, there we go, this is how you use the Fire-type Z-move, you just stand there and do that pose, and that's the final pose for the Z-move. Thank you, my dear Marowak. Okay. For when you meet a Pokemon that you would like to make your companion, take these. Thanks. I appreciate that. What more? You may now use the Ride Pokemon Charizard. Thank you. Charizard's an amazing Pokemon. And now we can use Charizard to travel from area to area. So that's cool. That is really cool. But for now, I think I'm going to end off this episode here. So thank you all so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed. If you did enjoy, don't forget to leave a like on the video. And subscribe to the channel if you aren't already. And well, as always, I'll see you all in the next episode of the Pokemon Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon series on the channel. Bye, everybody.